Hello, Namaste and Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Mehboob Sukhail and in this transmission we are going to be talking about how a symbol works on us. When you observe a symbol consciously from your eyes, just look at the symbol like the flower of life. It is said that if we were to have a probe to monitor neural activity in our brain with electrodes and probes, you're watching it on a monitor. It is said that most of our lives, the neural activity is relegated in our brain spaces to only certain regions of our brain spaces. The rest of it is dark areas. No neural activity is happening in these spaces. It is said that when a person watches the flower of life, visually just looks at the flower of life symbol and you map the neural activity of the brain, then what you notice is something phenomenal and that is that. Your neural activity will suddenly shift to dark areas of your brain. So when you observe a symbol consciously and with focus and attention. When the symbol passes through your eyes and get into your recognition center of your brain, there is going to be a shift of neural activity. Now the neural activity that are already happening in our mind spaces are nothing but the patterns that we have acquired through our past, through our ancestry, through our education, through our upbringing, through our conditioning, etc, etc. And that is why we find it very difficult to break free from our mental patterns or the patterns that we are stuck in in life. So to help you break this pattern, which perhaps is not serving you, and to reach a to open up certain capabilities that could be skills and talents within us, that could be a know-how of how to manifest things, that could be access points to how to understand the metaphysical dimension, whatever it is. That shift that is occurring in the neural activity is helped by the flower, of, by symbols, the sacred geometry symbols, like the flower of life, that's one of them. So, this is how a symbol works on altering your perceptions, bringing about a shift in your perceptions. It's the same thing that happens when we take a psychedelic drug. No, I'm not prescribing that you take a psychedelic drug. I'm just stating the fact that when you take a psychedelic substance, then what happens is that the same reality that we are experiencing suddenly appears different. And how does this happen? That happens because the neural activity that happens usually suddenly takes a departure on psychedelics and neural activity goes to other areas of your brain allowing you to see something that you already have seen but in a different light. But the problem with the psychedelic substance is that you never are in control of what part of your brain regions light up. It could be that of paranoia, it could be that of fear, it could be that of being shy, it could be many other.